Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Up to now, we have seen the about the NGRX, how to implement the NGRX, the state, actions, reducers, and also the selectors. Also, we have seen. Now, what we will try to do is we will try to convert this project into a routing. So, we will implement the routing into this in this project, and we will go a little bit further how to implement the state management in the routing in the routing in the routing angular angular routing how to implement the state management we will try to see in this video okay let's go and we will implement the routing now if we are implementing the routing what we need to do let's create a here let's let's create the app routing module here so app iphone routing dot module dot ts so we as we already know about the routing if you want to know more about the routing i have already covered the course angular in the angular complete course guide or otherwise i have created a new playlist for this angular routing you can you can see there so export class i can write app routing module okay so this is the app routing module and here what i will try to do here let's create ng module and here i will have imports and another one will be the exports okay at the top let's create the routing so ng module it should be imported top and here uh, what i will try to do constant routes is equal to routes and here i'll routes also should be imported from the angular router routes if i try to do angular router is imported now i will be having two things path if it is home let's create the component home components so let's go here and let's create ng gc home so i am creating the home component so now let's let it create the home component yeah it's created the home component here you will be getting the home and here i will write it home component right and another one what i will try to do is here path is equal to counter we will be having the we are having the counter right so i am creating it in a separate route so counter component i am having the counter component so these are the two routing modules what i will be creating okay now here what i what i need to do router module dot for root of and we need to implement this routes here and here i will extend this router module okay now let's go to the app dot module we'll implement the lazy loading also afterwards so we'll see the scenarios how to implement the state management so here app routing module so i have included i have imported here in the app module now we have implemented the app routing module uh, uh, routing now what we will try to do is so let's go to the app component.html and remove this app counter and replace it with the route outlet okay and let's try to create a header also ng gc okay gc is for generate component and here i will create a shared slash components in this component slash what is that one header header right so i will create header and so here if i refresh this one i am able to see the homeworks that means home component is loaded now if i try to see the counter here if i click on counter i am able to see the counter so it is working fine let's go to the get bootstrap and here get started if i go to the get started and here nav bar if i search okay nav bar if i search here come down so here yeah take this uh, sample nav bar okay here header is created and let's go to the header component.html and let's paste this one all and i am removing this all the things okay so here i am having the home and here i will place the counter okay and here i will place the router link sorry router link right so it should it will be something like like this i think and here also router link it should redirect to the uh, what i say counter okay we have the counter right so now we have the two routings so now let's try to see here so here if i try to see yeah, we are not seeing why because we have not included this header component let's go to the app component html and at the top i will try to include app iphone header okay i have included the app iphone header now let's try to see the output yeah i'm able to see the nav bar and here the counter and home i am able to switch between these two things so now we have successfully implemented the routing in our existing project 
now if i do the increment here it is working fine okay so now we have implemented the routing now i will try to add a new module into this one so that is nothing but the post module so what i will try to do here in gc so post let's create the post and i have i will create post list okay so post list so now let's create here home now another new module i am creating so that is nothing but the post and inside this one you are having the post list okay let's add this one in the app routing also app routing module and here if we try to see sorry and if i try to see path so post okay whenever the user goes to the post and let load the component post list component okay now if i try if uh, let's try to implement in the header also header dot component dot html and here let's copy this one and paste it and here we'll be having the post and here also we'll be routing it to the post and let's refresh and we are having the post here why it is not refreshing sometimes we need to refresh it very hard let's inspect the element and the empty cache and reload yeah okay so first oh we got some error shared scope something so if we click on post it's working fine not a problem okay so if i try to refresh okay we are able to see increment and decrement we are able to see everything yeah it's working fine so everything is working fine if i try to refresh in the counter itself we got some error i think yeah no problem no nothing nothing is there so we got the so now we have implemented the posts also now here this is the post data so that means we are we will be showing the list of articles here now we will try to show the list of articles that should be loaded from the state management and we need to show the data so now let's try to do it in the next video so now what we have did now so we have converted this entire uh, our existing project into the routing project so that how to implement the routing in the in this project we will try to see and we also implement the login and registration in the same thing so how we can do the authentication in the state management also we will try to see okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you